on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Now I remember. I am Yuna. I'm nobody's bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our mind. I don't need to know you. To know you. To know you. To know you. 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 Need to know. To know. To know. To know. To know. I will be the one. What are you talking about? Yeah, just another wannabe one. Yeah, kind of boring listening to him. Oh, come on. You were spelling that nonsense too. In fact, no one's beaten you yet. Yeah, because you know if they try to kill their asses. Yeah. <sighs> I, even if he was a bad person, I shouldn't have killed him. Oh, you mean yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey. Oh. Law, was it? Yes. I heard that you were close to being the one? Yeah, yeah I was. What happened? One left. Besides me. Turns out... Where I was from... A lot... There was a lot of bad people who ruined his life. So, he decided he wanted to get even. He did. But when I found him, I had no choice. Hmm. So you just kept doing it. Turns out all the other versions of me in the multiverses, it turns out they were all bad. Terrible. Monstrous individuals. I couldn't understand it. I didn't know why. What could have turned them to such bad eggs? So I started to research. I did not like what I saw. <laughs> yes. Terrible what had happened to the other me's. Killing them was a mercy. So, I started hopping from multiverse to multiverse. Seeing the terrible lies they would lead, I would impersonate them, of course. And uh, set things right. Best part is I got stronger after each kill. So, yeah, it helped. But all I had to do is make sure I killed them before they got the boost. Easier said than done. We don't know their exact location. Hmm. How about this? I will help you get out of here. If you help me. Why? So we can be the one. You can't be the one if there's two of you. Nice try though. Trust me, it's not worth it. You're strong enough. Are you? I heard him before. 
no one was able to break you. Let's see what if two the ones can do. Neither of us are the one. If they were, we'd be killed already. Perhaps. But what if I could find us a way out of here? We could kill the other versions of ourselves. And who knows? You're wasting your time. I know we can do it. You're crazy. No, I am optimistic. I don't like being here. I know you don't either. Well, this is my punishment for wanting to make the world a better place. If you say so. But, that doesn't mean you've truly given up. I see your drawings. You have one, don't you? Yes. So, what does it do? Well, uh, it makes a portal. Really? Yes, right. My calculations are correct. I can make a portal to go to any universe, any date, any time I wanted. The only thing is, since it is a new technology, I don't know if it would work. At least, the way I anticipated. It could send me from, I don't know, a few seconds to all the way from when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Who knows, maybe in the Big Bang, I don't know. But one thing's for sure is not something to many people want to test. I'll do it. You're ambitious. That'll get you killed. Remember that law. I do not care. No, I guess you don't. <sighs> Give me these supplies and maybe I'll think about it. Two years have gone by since then. Izuku and you law been working on what this version of him's calling a gate generator. Doesn't know if it'll work, doesn't know huh, if they'll die if they use it. But one thing's for sure, whatever happens, happens. They gather up all their stuff, ready to use it. But just then, gunshots are heard as guards start to rain down from above and surrounds them. What the hell? Uh, why are they here? Izuku Midoriya. We have heard of uh, a gate generator. You try to escape, son? Wait, but how did you... You. Me. You son of a... Uh, don't look so surprised. I wanted out. You found me away. But you're still stuck here. Perhaps. But I know one thing. We have to destroy potentially dangerous technology. 
All I have to do is get there before you. As Izuku is put into custody and you law, he's pretty much seen as a small time accomplice. He even plays dumb from time to time saying, all you said is get this and that. He didn't say what he was going to use it for until it was too late. So yeah, Izuku pretty much got screwed over. While he's in solitary, he's just no, no, no. I should have known. Well, I could say it's good luck. The thing probably doesn't work, but what if it did? What would happen if he? Never mind, it's not my business. Not anymore. As yes, Izuku, he's trying to fight back against this part of him that still wants to save people, still wants to be a good guy. Even after all that's happened, he still wants to be a hero in some shape or form. So he just pretty much rises up and hot. Fuck it. Him busting out, but as soon as he gets there, he sees. No way. Nothing but litter bodies, corpses of guards, other prisoners. Just spelling out. Hurry up. Once he gets past everyone else, there he is, ready to use the gauge area and leave with or without Izuku. You did all this. Why? <sighs> you see, I started thinking. We, as a, we could be even more stronger, even after we become the ones. What? Think about it. If this does what you theorize, we can not only go to different universes, we can go back in time, or forward in time. We can make... We can drag our own parents back here. And sooner or later, those loins are going to get itchy. No. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what? That we wait until we're born, then just pull the trigger? <laughs> That's precisely what I'm saying. Imagine it. It'll be so easy. You're crazy. Hmm. Maybe. But no, that matters now. Are you coming or not? As yeah, Izuku grabs hold. I always wanted to be a hero. I guess this is how. Him starting to fight with Yula, which yeah, it's. Not a one-sided fight. Though, yes, they are both the ones. And yes, Yula may have some hell of a lot of experience. Only thing is, no guns. Not to mention, no one else is there to either stop them, arrest them, or whatnot. And Izuku, the other versions of him, 
they knew a lot of fighting styles, which he had to incorporate just to make sure he could even stand a chance before that little power boost came up. So yes, he has some experience fighting himself. It's just that Eula is uh, pretty adept and pretty merciless. But at the end of the day, Gajiren okay, gets activated, Eula jumps through, and Hisuku has no choice but to jump in after him. When he wakes up, What the hell? Where am I? Huh? What the? I. Are you alright? <laughs> Who's there? Hi. My name is Zuku Medaya. Nice to meet you. Uh, right. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Uh, Hizuku. What's your name? Um, uh, uh, Hanzo? Uh, right, Hanzo. Uh, you can't remember your family name? Uh, no. Sorry, kid. That's fine. It's not your fault. So this is me, younger. Wait, younger? As then he gets a better look around. He sees, like... This is a bit different from where I'm from. As this... Is the world of MIJ with quirks. This is a goo has only been to ones where there are no quirks, normal people, only with slight enhancements, as well as cybernetics. Technology is a lot more advanced where he's from. Heck, one of these versions of him was an engineer. Others, uh, yeah, let's just say we had a lot of professions before they turned bad. Hmm. Okay. So, Izuku, what are you doing here? Well, I was playing with my friends until... One of them got uh, the urge to bully someone. You don't say. Talk to me about that. Him giving the whole thing about how quartz came to be, whatnot, and, and the longer I stay here, the more likely he's gonna hmm, gain some of my abilities. But should I allow him to? Is that something I... Hmm. So, uh... Uh, Izuku, what's... your favorite thing? What do you want to be when you grow up? A hero. Really? <laughs> That's... Huh, interesting. So did I. What happened? Huh? I mean, you didn't become a hero? Technically, I did in my own way. I just had to do a lot of bad before then. Really? Yeah. Sometimes a good guy has to get their hands dirty before they can truly do good. 
everyone's a, a hero in their own, their own story and all. As yes, he, both Izugus have started to get more to know each other. More, he's like, oh really? You like pork cutlet too? So do I, type thing. But then, later on that day, Izuku, at least the younger one, notices something. Hmm? What'd you say? Uh, I didn't say anything. As in, say, oh, that's right. Uh, Izuku? Yes? I'm going to have to tell you a secret, but you can't tell anyone else, okay? Uh, okay. I'm you. What? Yes, I'm at least a different version of you. And uh, I have powers now. Want to see? Okay. As this Suzuki just walks right to a, a huge ass tree and punches it easily, just splitting it. The younger version of him, which I'll say is like five or six, is amazed. It's like, if you're me, does that mean I do get a quirk? In a matter of speaking, you do. Hmm, how should I put this? Ah. Punch the, this tree. Is, yes, this one is around the same size. A little thinner, but enough to... So, but that'll hurt. No, it won't. Trust me. Mm. Upon punching it, Izuku's like, wait, I didn't... I, did I miss? Because he had his eyes closed. But as soon as he looks, he sees that the whole tree has been toppled. Him looking... I have a quirk? But how? My boy, this isn't a quirk. You see, what this really is... Is... Huh? Get down! As, yes... Wait a minute. How did him looking and seeing? No. He found me. At least found you. He's trying to kill both of us, but. Huh. Oh, wait, no, that's right. This is a whole new cluster of multiverses, isn't it? That's the only reason that makes all this make sense with like, what's going on? Who, who shot at us? I'll try to explain everything later, but first we need to get you out of here, kid. As yes, Yula is trying his best to pretty much kill both Izuku's, especially the one that, that's so young and is just developing this power. Of them running from building to building, <laughs> wall running, as well as the amazing te techniques. Zuku was like, wait, how do I know I can do this? How did you know I can? Because the fact that I'm here is proof that you're, you're not getting a quirk, kid. This is a result of you combining, at least absorbing... The energies of your former selves. Other words, me. Wait, so when you said you had to do a lot of bad things to become a hero, you mean... That's right. I ended up killing a lot of me's to get this far. From what I can tell, this isn't even the right set of multiverses. This is something completely different. If anything... I should at least let you know that all the other me's I killed were bad people. What? 
Yeah, very bad people. Trust me, not someone you want to fool around with. As in... Damn it. It's dead end. I can see him from here, though. Who? You law. If anything, looks like he's possibly killed the other version of himself. Damn it. If only I had a gun, but I... I might have to charge him head on, but I can't do that with you here. If he kills you... Wait. I could stop him if you die, though. What? If I were to become a one just like him, you'd, you'd be able to beat him and save everyone else? Yes. Okay. T what? You can kill me? What are you saying, kid? Don't don't say something like that. If this is to protect everyone else, you can do it. <sighs> no. I'm not letting that happen. What? I'm gonna protect you. If it's the last thing I do. I don't need them. That power. I can kill him without it. But you are going to go home, little one. But, uh, well, if you don't win, then I'll at least take him down with me. As the older Izuku just runs as fast as he can, make sure to dodge traffic, dodge cars, as well as. Literally, dodge bullets coming right after him, as well as following you law from his, you know, different positions from his sniper rifle. Upon the showdown, it's not a straight fist fight. Izuku doesn't have any guns, but you law still stocked up. So, yeah. He pretty much has to do his best not to get too injured and to get that gate generator from you law before it's too late. The fight lasts three minutes all because you law is literally making it so difficult to get anywhere close to him. But Bullets can run out. Guns can jam. So, yeah. Easier just had to be a little bit more patient. And the patience actually paid out to a point where he is in a complete and utter slugfest. To, let's say... They're not as strong as this Izuku is not really as strong as All Might. This Yu Law turns out he didn't find the other version of himself. <laughs> so if anything, they're still on equal terms. He just didn't want anyone in his way. However, there is something that ruins everything. You see, Izuku punched the gate generator in hopes of destroying it, but instead of doing that, he embedded it within Yu Law's chest, trying to rip it out, but crushes it inside his chest. He's dying, he's slowly weaker he's feeling like he's won 
he walks away. But not before. Oh, no. Is this him? As yes, a version of you law shows up. Good. Kill him. But won't that make him stronger? Then kill yourself. Then I can be a boy. What? Hey. Listen. You don't have to do this. But he said we could have power. Money, anything we wanted if we. Yeah, he lied. He All he wants is power, but I doubt he's willing to share it. Come on. Use your head, kid. Don't call me, kid. I'm sick of that shit. Okay. Okay. Just don't hurt the boy. What you want? We can talk this out. You, no one else to get hurt. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> As the Eula with the gay generator in his chest shoots the other version of himself. The only thing is. When he was about to kill the younger Izuku, the older one stepped in the way. <sighs> you idiot. You damned everyone. That kid can't possibly. Uh, whatever you say. This is when Izuku is just looking at the older version of himself. <sighs> Be a hero. This is when Izuku just gets overcome with anger and rage. Him seeing himself die, being a hero, that's... Him looking at Yula with that thing in his chest. He walks up to him, grabs it, and rips it out. And before he can finish the job, the thing activates, and Yula falls into a portal, laughing. And that is how this first part begins at least that's how it begun and how it ends <laughs> oh man this was a long video wasn't it yeah it was fun and I did set up a lot if anything let's see how this story goes I had fun let's see how much fun we can really make this in the next part <laughs>